right, folks, John Rush here today, Drive Radio, my wife, Carrie, behind the camera, and i uh, going to do a review of the 2017, and I shouldn't say all new, but they've made some significant changes in the 2017 Ford Raptor, and just to start off with, I'll just tell you right off the bat, fantastic truck, one of the favorite test drives I've had all year long from cars, trucks, SUVs, you name it. This is a truck that it goes back tomorrow and I'm disappointed. This is a truck I could keep, own, and drive. So all of you truck lovers out there, if you haven't driven a Ford Raptor, uh, I would encourage you to do so. So let's take a walk around the vehicle. I'll talk to you a little bit about it as we go around. So you'll notice it's got its own unique front end, you know, unique to, to Raptor, mainly because the stance on the truck is wider. Um, just a couple of side notes. Raptor, this comes from Ford Media website. They retain 87.8% of their value. And yeah, I was right. Six inch wider track. It's got its own boxed frame on the truck. Uh, 13 inches of wheel travel on the front. 13.9 inches on the rear. 30 inches of approach angle. And part of why the front end looks different is because of the wider track, they do some things differently with the fenders front and rear. So as we take a walk around the truck, great lighting, by the way. This all lights up at night all the way around. Little LED here. Of course, tow hooks and all of that. Love the running boards on this truck, by the way. They, they don't they don't come in or out anything like that they're just they just are on the truck i really love them they're they're positioned perfectly works fantastic they did a bigger fox shocks on this this year with a three inch canister this particular truck does have the optional 17 inch wheels which makes the truck look a little bit different and this truck just so you know pricing sixty three thousand two forty five now you can start with a basic raptor for just a little bit under sixty thousand dollars this particular unit has the uh, tailgate step for 375, the tech package for 1950, which includes adaptive cruise control, and the wheels I just mentioned are 1165. This truck also has with it the uh, the trailer assist and the backup. Some of the things that I'll show you once we get into the cab. One thing I do like about this truck is you can unlock the tailgate automatically. Couple of couple of hits of the key fob, pops down. Step is built in here where you can step up in and out of the truck. This is the short box, the extended cab short box version of the truck tie downs inside which are locked in so you cannot remove them they won't get stolen that way and in bed lighting which I like easy lift tailgate as well and again as you look at the back of the truck and one of the things that I like about this particular model that we received is I don't care for the Raptors that have all of the junk along the back I'm a guy that honestly they could take the badging clear off and I would be just fine with it dual dual true dual exhaust on this particular vehicle 3.5 liter engine that's producing 450 horsepower 510 foot-pounds of torque and uh, I should note that it also has dual fuel injection, a new lower end, new turbos, new valve train. So they've really gone through this engine and made it a lot stronger than in previous. And some of you are going to ask a V6 and a Raptor versus the old V8s. We had two versions of V8 in the past. How does that work? Well, frankly, I thought I was going to be disappointed originally driving this truck and I will just tell you right now. I'm not after driving the truck for a week. The V6, the 10-speed automatic transmission, the combination of the two, it works absolutely fabulous. The only complaint that I have with this truck is its sound. It sounds like a V6. Now, most of you, I'm not going to start it up and let you hear it because, honestly, you need to get out and drive the truck for yourself anyways, and I don't want to deter anybody from doing that versus the sound of it. But it does not sound like the throaty V8. Not a bad sound but it's not the V8 sound. So real quick, let's come around the side. I want to show you the, the, the passenger seat, the way the suicide door works here also, which honestly works great. It gives you the ability to open it all the way around. So if you've really got some things to get in and out, you can. This seat does come up, gives you storage underneath. It does have a couple of power ports in the back. Uh, and they do that, I'm guessing, you know, in this particular model, not a lot of leg room. I'm not even going to climb in because you can see there's just not a lot of room here. You're not going to get a car seat. It's going to be tight for even a full-size adult. Not that that's bad because the plus side to this truck after driving it for a few days that I really did enjoy is the fact that it's short and it's easy to maneuver and works well that way. Now, personally, if I was going to buy this truck, I think I'd buy the crew cab model. But frankly, after driving it for a week, if it was only me, my wife, you know what, the extended cab version may work very well for you. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to stop the camera for a minute, hop around in the front seat, and we'll finish up the review on the 2017 Ford Raptor. All right, folks, now I'm in the front seat, and I want to show you just a few things that come on the truck, which I think, again, cool truck, great to drive, some things that separate it from the pack. 
all of your auxiliary switches, six of them up here on top, which you can do different things with, which again, cool things. You could turn off auxiliary lighting, all sorts of things that way. That's all built in up here. You'll notice no sunroof in the particular model that we're driving. Garage door opener above here. One thing about this vehicle, it's got the selector here for all of your four wheel drive modes and new for 2017, they've got a really awesome, in fact, patented transfer case that they're using in this vehicle. Too high as normal. When you go to the weather mode, it gives you an automatic all wheel full wheel, or an automatic, I should say, when you go to the weather, it gives you all wheel drive, an automatic all wheel drive. Mud sand is a four high lock. The Baja mode is four high locked with special shift points to make the truck that much more responsive. And then of course, rock crawl gives you 50 to one on the low range side of the fence. And that also works out fantastic. So all the different modes in the truck, again, lane departure control in this vehicle, blind spot monitoring, all the power features you could imagine, paddle shifters, the truck, honestly, blast to drive. Heated and ventilated front seats, big console in the middle, which we can lift up and show you real quick. It's, it's got a nice console, just like a regular F-150, which we've done before, so I'm not gonna get into great detail there because the cabin of the truck is very much like an F-150. In fact, identical to an F-150 as far as the way the shifter's done, the towing mode, all those different things. That's pretty much standard. The features on this truck that are a little different than an F-150 is the display on the dash and the features that you get and, and what I'm getting at is the information that it gives you about what the truck itself is doing. So without further ado, just get out and drive this truck. It's phenomenal. I didn't think I was gonna love the 3.5 liter engine, the V6 engine in this truck like I did, but the more I drove it, the more I fell in love with this truck. I had tons and tons of compliments from people when I was driving this truck. There's not a single person that I met that didn't like the looks and feel of this truck. It rides like a dream. It's smooth. It's quiet. It handles extremely well. We had a bunch of weather here this past week, and I'm not exaggerating. Even in weather, rain, snow conditions, etc., you can drive this truck 80 miles an hour down the road, no problem. You, you would think you're on dry pavement. That's how well this vehicle works. So check it out at your local Ford dealer. Go out and drive it, and when you do, tell them John and Richard Rush from Drive Radio sent you.